Welcome to Learn with Priyanka. Question. Your company has a sales department that uses two fabric workspaces named Workspace 1 and Workspace 2. The company decides to implement a domain strategy to organize the workspaces. You need to ensure that a user can perform the following tasks. Create a new domain for the sales department. Create two subdomains, one for the East Region and one for the West Region. Assign Workspace 1 to the East Region subdomain. Assign Workspace 2 to the West Region subdomain. The solution must follow the principle of least privilege. Which role should you assign to the user? A. Workspace Admin B. Domain Admin C. Domain Contributor D. Fabric Admin Pause for a moment, think it through, and let's check the answer. The correct answer is D. Fabric Admin. Why? Because only a fabric admin can create a new domain, which is the first requirement in the question, to create a new domain for the sales department. This role also allows the user to create subdomains and assign workspaces, covering everything mentioned in the question. Now, let's go over why the other options are incorrect. A. Workspace Admin can update and delete a workspace but cannot create domains or subdomains, which makes it the wrong choice. Before the exam, I recommend reviewing all workspace roles and their differences. And if you're unsure, Microsoft Learn is your best resource during the exam. Option B. Domain Admin can create subdomains but not new domains, so it doesn't meet all the requirements. Option C. Domain Contributor cannot create domains or subdomains. They can only assign workspaces within an existing domain, making this an incorrect answer. See you with another question.